video here. And today, guys, I want to talk about why do we buy and collect a lot of stereos? Why do we want the best stereos out there? There's many stereos, guys, from Sansui, Morantz, Luxman, Carbon Carbon, Lafayette, Pioneer, Sony, Akai, so on, so on. But why do we looking for the best stereos out there from the 70s? We spend a lot of money for all these stereos and then we try to listen from one stereo to another and we try to educate ourselves we try to learn more we try to have more knowledge about vintage stereos because there are so many vintage stereos as a collector guys my experience that there are so many good vintage stereos out there and my knowledge guys when you buy stereos from the 70s the bigger transformers the bigger capacitors the bigger receiver or amplifier the heavier is the better many people guys knows and from their own experience of course, the older collectors from the 70s, they know exactly what's good and not good. Um, some people, they have, you know, um, collections from different studios. Some of them, they do have Macintosh and Marantz, Sansui Pioneer. There is difference between those stereos from one brand to another. People are talking about Morantz is good. People are talking about Sansu is good. People are talking about Pioneer is good. People are talking about Akai is good. And people are talking about Macintosh. It's really the best one out there. Macintosh guys, to me, it's a very expensive hobby and it's going to cost a lot of money. Um, people that have um, uh, Macintosh spend thousands of money. Um, I've seen in YouTube, they spend a lot of money. Um, as a collector, guys, you listen to one stereo receiver to another from different you know brand to me it's not only about the receiver it's not only about the amplifier it's not only about the brand it's how you set up your stereo system in your place the bigger speakers the better the bigger woofer the better the more tweeters the more mid-range you have the better the bigger cable speaker cables the better and the wattage and the power of the receiver the better you know how many watts and how many ohms so there's many things that you have to learn and educate yourself about you know stereos because it's not all about the looks it's not all about you know how much you pay for it so it depends you know the the, the, the power of the receiver and the amplifier and the ohms and the wattage and the watts that goes to your speakers. Um, I did research a lot of you know brands, different stereos, vintage stereos and speakers, and I have knowledge about speakers, receivers and amplifiers and how to set up your stereos for the better good quality sounds. Um, there are a lot of vintage stereos out there that is really good and um, they are not uh, 
they are not popular yet because they come by from time to time. I don't see a lot of receivers and the stereo amplifiers from the 70s that you know um, comes by by my place or in the flea market. Um, once in a while I do see good stereos but not one of those really gigantic Pioneer or Sansui 9090 or Sansui 8080 or Marantz um, Pioneer those gigantic um, powerful stereo receivers and even though I have knowledge about stereos but still I have to educate more about vintage stereos and how to um, have a good quality sounds, how to set it up right, you know. Even though I do have knowledge already, but I still have to get more knowledge and learn more. So, to me guys, as a collector, um, it's not all about, you know, the brands. Um, there's many stereo receivers out there from the 70s. Uh, even Akai is good, or, <clears throat> sorry, or, um, or realistic, you know, or Harman Kardon, you know, or or um, uh, Hitachi, you know, those Japanese stereos receiver from back then. Um, they are some um, stereos from the seventies that is really good. It's just not known, and nobody really recognized them because these are an old old stereo receivers and amplifiers from the 70s so sansui guys it's one of the best stereos out there um, i do have a couple of stereos from sansui i have marantz stereos and uh, lafayette and luxon these are good stereos guys and uh, cost more money and uh, they are known so but, um, you know, it's not easy to just find this vintage stereos. And I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube that they are very lucky because they have all these different types of collections in their house. And they, 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 they hunt this um, vintage stereos and I don't know where they get it from. Maybe they order it or they buy it from garage sale or flea market somewhere. So these are very hard to come by nowadays and sometimes it's difficult for me because I want to get more because I do buy and sell stereo receivers from the 70s and you know um, I sell it online on Facebook market uh, offer up and I get my profit and you know I want more stereos from the 70s that I've never seen before so it's not easy and you know it's a good money when you find this stereos because you made profit and uh, you make money but it's not easy to find this stereos um, at my town um, in Europe there's a lot of people that are selling stereos and they are cheaper than here in the United States um, a lot of good stereos out there in Europe that they sell and um, they make money and they're lucky because they pay less money so but in the United States they cost more money especially nowadays that the vintage is always there and online it's obvious that people are selling in eBay and it's expensive when they sell it compared to eBay in Europe is cheaper so um, a lot of vintage stereos um, out there that uh, I've never seen before and it's just you know I need more time and I need more um, actions to do to hunt this stereos out there um, a couple of years ago and last year I've been buying stereos from from somebody and I get a good deals and I've seen some of the stereos that I've never seen before and uh, 
this year it was kind of slow because a lot of people nowadays guys they they sell in eBay and offer up and Facebook market and they you know they make profit you know they, they compare from one buyer to another the price they you know they look it up and then you know they don't have to ship it you know so you take a picture and then you post it in Facebook market and you put your price and you you message each other and then you meet somewhere halfway and then there you go but uh, a lot of people are going to uh, Facebook market now because you don't have to put it in a box and more work and ship it you got to go to USPS or UPS and ship it out there so a lot of people are selling it now because it's easy way to sell it you just take a picture and then you know they message you and then if you want you can come to your house and check it out and pay you so a lot of today's generation guys a lot of uh, things are happening um, different from the 60s and 70s and it's new generation so everything it's by computers now and cell phones and that's how it is nowadays yeah so but vintage stereos guys um, it's my collections and I'm really amazed of vintage stereos uh, modern ones guys I'm not that fanatic about it I'm not that crazy about it but I'm always liking the vintage stereos and the tubes amplifiers the tubes preamps the bulbs it's amazing when you know you're looking at those bulbs lit up and it's just amazing and the sound quality of tubes is just great so and i do have tubes amplifier and i have vintage stereos amp uh, amplifier and receivers collections and modern ones and i sold a lot of my modern stereos because it's getting a lot so um, i have to get rid of it but uh, sometimes i miss those stereos but i cannot use them all same time so i'm just keeping the one that i really like but my favorite guys it's the sansui 9090 you know it's amazing i really want that receiver but it's one grand and it's a lot of money so it's a very nice sansui 9090 um, stereo receiver but the price is just way way up and i don't want to spend that kind of money for that so I'd like to spend less money, but I get what I want. Good stuff, good stereos, good vintage stereos. And that's how I like it. And I buy it, I listen to it, and then later on I resell it. So it's just a cycle, guys, you know. So, um, I don't know yet, you know. Um, I don't know if I want to buy, a, you know, the Sansui 9090. I'm thinking about it, you know all the time but one grand is kind of a lot of money for a receiver you know from the 70s uh, Sansui but I'm thinking about it if I can get it cheaper you know um, maybe 600 500 dollars maybe something is broken uh, all I have to do is fix it um, you know you buy it as is and you know walk away so if there's somebody selling that or an owner or a retired guy let go of the Sansui 9090 and they just sell it for for the heck of it maybe I'm lucky I can get one of those but to spend a thousand dollars for a Sansui 9090 I think it's just way too high you know so maybe one day but we will see um, many many brands many many vintage stereos out there guys you know it's just that we don't see them that much anymore um, I would really love to go to like a museum and check those vintage stereos if they have that somewhere here or in New York and I would definitely travel from here to there and just to check those uh, play, that place um, you go to the museum of the stereos and, because they do have one in Europe and I saw it on YouTube and 
it's a nice place. Um, they collect all those vintage stereos from a long, long time ago until the uh, late 70s, 80s. Um, I have, you know, I have um, regrets sometimes about, you know, those stereos that I did not buy and I let it go. I saw a Sansui uh, receiver and he was selling it for $35 and I let it go. It was a good size of the stereo and I should have bought it, but I let it go. I don't know why sometimes my head is not clear and I didn't care. But when I checked it online, how much it is, it's $400. So I should have bought it. But uh, even Marantz, I let it go. I saw one Marantz at flea market, I let it go. Um, those are the regrets that, you know, I, I think from time to time, you know, I could have had those stereo receivers. But I bought one recently, um, the Sansu uh, 4000, no, 2000 X uh, receiver. Yeah, um, that Sansui sounds great, and I'm using a Sansui SP um, 1500, and it sounds amazing. So, really uh, lucky, even though you know I have four speakers of Sansui's uh, from uh, SP 1500 and SP 2000. So, I put one, two in the garage, I put two in my music room, and I'm using it now, and I just Keep it there because these sensitive speakers, guys, it's very rare and they are expensive. They could cost four hundred to five hundred dollars in eBay, including the shipping. And it depends, you know, the 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 you know um, the condition of the speakers, you know. So if it's mint, then it costs more money. And I just saved those speakers, guys, because. One day, you know, um, I need those speakers and I don't have to buy because they are expensive. And I got it for a good price, low price. And I'm really happy with those speakers. Um, some of my stereo receivers, guys, I got it for a good, uh, good price, low price. And the Morans, I'm happy. I have the 10, uh, what do you call it, 1040. Um, not receiver amplifier um, it sounds amazing and I'm happy and I do have the big uh, Marantz um, receiver I'm happy and my Sansui's so and my tubes so I'm, 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 I'm you know I'm grateful that I have those stereo receivers so um, as a collector guys it's good to have those stereos and you have more in your house, but uh, too much, you know, sometimes it's too much and, you know, it becomes a little problems to let it go, you know, because it's accumulating and, you know, it's not easy because they do occupy a lot of space and it gets piled up. So, but I wish I can get more vintage stereo somewhere and find that Sansui 9090. I really want the Sansui 9090. So one day, you know, maybe if I'm lucky, then I will get a Sansui 9090. Yeah, so um, just a simple video today, guys. Something to talk about, about vintage stereos and modern stereos and tubes. You know, um, preamps and speakers, and you know, just another video here. And uh, yeah, you guys enjoy your um, vintage stereo system out there, and uh, hit the hit the subscribers and hit all. And uh, every time I upload a new video, you will get it. You will go. You will go straight to your YouTube channel. Yeah. So guys. Thanks for watching and I will see you again next time. So for now, I'll say bye-bye.